So, big news. Um, the developers just dropped a third update to the dev server. Mirage F1 is here. It is confirmed. It is on the dev server. Um, you know, I know this was kind of a data mined rumor mill, but it's real. Um, and we're going to take a look at it. So, first thing to show you. Um, and, of course, disclaimer, this is all dev server, so subject to change. Uh, here's the radar. It's got the Cyrano 4, um, which is an interesting radar set. And it looks like they may have doubled the the entry on it there, so that's kind of interesting. Um, there's some stuff to look at with the weapons. So let me just uh, get that set for when I do a flight in a minute. Um, we've got rocket pods. We've got bombs. R530, Magic 1, Magic 2, and 530F. Um, so those are going to be significant new additions into the game. Um, and I'm suspecting the Magic 2 is going to be pretty hardcore. Um, now, there is something to show you. In the loadouts, um, those new weapons are not represented yet, so I can't show them to you. And as an important note, if you try this out on the dev server yourself, do not try to select the loadout with the rocket pods, or it will crash your client. Um, and you won't be able to get back in, because when you, when you get back in, it'll try and bring you into the hangar with the Mirage F1, where that'll still have the rocket pods, and it'll crash your client back to desktop in an infinite loop. I had that happen, and the developers had to unlock my account manually. <clears throat> and yeah, so don't do that. Um, anyway, so we're going to take this into a test flight. I have not test flown this. So we're going to uh, jump right in and get a first impression. Okay, the runway's a little grassy there, but that's okay. Man, that model looks excellent. Let's see if there's a cockpit. Oh, there is a cockpit. Okay, first impressions. Um, that, yeah, looks like a Mirage F1 cockpit. Let me look at one other thing. Okay, yeah, we have we have a little bit of a HUD. Landing gear. Awesome. Cannons, fair amount of ammo. I think uh, this should still have just the DEFA cannon. And these are just magic ones, nothing that we haven't all uh, seen before, but we'll go in and take a test shot just to just see what happens. All right, let's see how fast we can catch this MiG-15. Flaps were still down. Man, I, I can't get over that. I, I love the look of the Mirage F1. This has been one of my favorite looking aircraft for a long time. Anyway. Oh, so look at that. Check out my, my PPD. Um, we have look down mode and moving target indication mode. So this seems to function like the Sapphire radar. Ah, and I still believe in magic. That was amazing. All right. So, oh, yeah, look at that. That's, that's some weird blocky stuff under the wings. Still dev server. Uh, countermeasures. Yeah, we have uh, an adequate amount of countermeasures. Not bad. Excellent. At first glance, um, the maneuverability seems decent. Uh, stick around, and I will take this into a test mission, and uh, we'll see how it performs there. Okay, so we are jumping into a mission with the Mirage F1, and uh, we're going to see what we get. One thing I forgot to mention back in the hangar is that um, the F1 does have the full ballistics computer for its weapons. All right, we've got a couple of human players in here. So the the digital look down mode, um, we were getting some some relative ground clutter there. Let's take another quick look. 
yeah, we're, we're getting a bit of ground clutter, but that's as expected. And of course, the MTI mode, the scope is clean, which is what we expect to see. Interesting. So I'm just looking, yeah, the range presets vary based on what radar mode you're in. Yeah, the MTI mode has a much shorter maximum range, um, which, which is correct. Sorry, just playing with the radar modes there. All right. Oh, don't want a red line and wing rip. And of course, we've got uh, generous countermeasures. I, I love the look of this plane. I am cautiously optimistic um, that this is going to work out pretty well. Not the best missile shot. Got it anyway. I do not like to have my afterburn going when my nose is pointed into the ground. It's just, uh, just a little bit of a nervous thing that I've got. But... I fight against it. Let's look for something that can actually fight back, like this A7, who has, or should have, a very generous amount of countermeasures. Of course, you might not see that I'm here. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Yeah, and on the, uh, the diff server here, I don't have my full controls set, so I'm blacking out all the time. Sorry about that. Um, but, I mean, as you can see, the, the maneuverability is pretty decent. Um, I am cautiously optimistic that this is going to be pretty competitive in the top tier. Uh, so I'm going to call this a video. And as always, thanks for watching.